Hey guys, Rander and Shades here, Exercise is my first in Memor Rights vlog style, here with my second Q&A in honor of having reached 200 subscribers. So thank you guys again for showing such fondness of this channel and what I do on it and hitting that subscribe button indicating such. So let's read some questions. I got a good bit here. So let's open up. Okay. A bunch of people asked, you know, multiple questions. So, first five all come from Warlord27753, and he pre-warned me that, you know, these are, you know, very political. So let's see how political I can, how politically I can respond. Okay. What do you think is the best way of paying the U.S.'s debt? Should we cut programs and departments? Should we raise taxes? Would you mix them in? Give specifics if possible. Uh, I'm sorry, dude, but that really goes over my head. Cutting taxes, I'm sure, would make people happy because it means, you know, they get to pay less money, but whatever. Let's move on to your other questions. How do you think we could shrink or eliminate unemployment in the U.S.? Probably by creating more jobs or, you know, I guess hiring more people for certain positions at certain jobs and whatnot. Should the U.S. adopt a universal health care system or deregulate health care and get rid of the current corporatist nature? Definitely universal health care. That's something that a lot of people have a problem with the U.S. about, that there's no universal health care. Is there a gender wage gap? If there is, there shouldn't be. What are your thoughts on Token Libertarian Girl? Please watch her before answering. I did watch uh, already, like you recommended, and yeah, her content is pretty good. It's enough to hold my attention. It's not exactly the types of videos that I would regularly watch enough to subscribe to, but her content is watchable, definitely, so... Thank you for showing me her. RT Bruh asks, Since you love metal, what do you think of Andy James? Uh, I've never heard of him. I will have to look into that. Also wondering, since you're a fan of glam metal, do you like Red Beach? Which he writes in all caps. Hell yes, I like Red Beach. I think he's one of the best guitarists that genre had to offer. And it sort of leaves me at kind of stunned that... There are people that make fun of this band, Winger, and a show like Beavis and Butthead that has a running gag of bashing Winger because there's that one character who always wears the Winger shirt that they rag him on. Next group of questions come from Danny the Metalhead. How do you feel about people judging a band or artist solely on how they look? Um, I think it's unfair and ridiculous that people do that rather than, you know, giving the band a chance, an honest listen, before just jumping to conclusions, because who knows, they may actually like what they hear. What is the most badass name for a band you have ever thought of? I've always been pretty bad at this. Whenever I've been having this discussion with people who I was in a band with, I was the worst at this. The names I came up with all sucked, so I'm not gonna give you any examples iPhone or Android? iPhone. How do you feel about torrenting and piracy? This is actually something I've been kind of afraid to talk about on this channel, actually, but I will say that I have no problem with torrenting. I'm not really going to go into too many details. I know there are a lot of people that, I guess, are, like, politically correct, morally correct, and they believe that, you know the bands and artists um, deserve support. They do, but that doesn't mean that, you know, people should be, you know, spending a crap ton of money, especially on the amount of music that I have. So those are my thoughts on torrenting. What is your definition of a YouTube whore? Um, how I define a YouTube whore, I define a YouTube whore as a person that, you know, basically uses their Jedi mind tricks to really manipulate people into viewing their videos so they can get really crap ton numbers of views. And usually they use these, you know, tactics that the Archfiend has made countless videos speaking about, you know, like misleading thumbnails, misleading titles, 
and all that, and also, you know, the making videos about, you know, tragedy and having ads enabled, you know, that's another, you know, cheeky tactic. Moving on. Dr. Millard Rooch, I think that's how you pronounce your name, he asks, if you could shove any type of fruit up your ass, what would it be? <laughs> um, raisins, I guess. They're technically dried grapes, so that does count. They're small, so they'll fit. What comes to mind when you hear the words swag or YOLO? Lil Wayne. Why not Drake, considering he's the one that does the goddamn song about YOLO? I have no idea, but Lil Wayne comes to mind first. Just doing this move like... Something like that. I can't really stand up too tall. I want to be able to fit on screen. Would you have three toes cut off in exchange for three million subscribers? I'd rather, if I got three million subscribers, they come from honest viewers and not just, you know, pity that I cut toes off. What is your opinion on conspiracies and conspiracy theorists? They need to calm their tits and face reality that they're fucking nuts. What kind of music do you hate? I wouldn't necessarily say I hate any music. There's music I really don't care about a lot that I find, you know, really less tolerable. Like rave music and dubstep would be two examples for that. I could say the same about country, except there are some country artists that I do have on my iPod, so I'm not gonna... You know, knock country into the dirt. The doodle sauce, ha ha ha. He asks, how big is your banana? Pretty large. How big is IQJ's banana? I don't know, nor do I really want to know. Has IQJ ever taken your banana up his cave or in his mouth? No, and probably never. Would you ever consider having ear intercourse? No, thank you. Has the brain enema ever tempted you with sexual favors? Thank God, no, and if she did, I would probably run away. Um, and by the way, I don't mean to get off topic, but c come on. The Inquisitive Joe jokes are getting a bit old, don't you think? It's getting a bit stale. It was kind of funny and flattering at first, but now it's just beating a dead horse. Alec Lee asks, do you like video games, and if you do, which games do you play the most? I think it was in my last Q&A that I showcased my little Game Boy game collection. I do play those games, and also, you remember in the video I made about Guitar Hero, that's another game I really enjoy. Other than those games, really don't play much else. I'm really not a gamer. I have a lot of friends who are gamers, but I am not a gamer myself. Manic Maniac asks, Why do so many people ask stupid questions? because they're stupid. Will Be The Bassist Rants asks, As a college student, do you have any advice for a rising high school senior starting college admissions? Best advice I could probably give you for there is just relax and don't stress out too much. It's your senior year, it kicks ass, just lay back and enjoy your final year of high school, because, again, senior year kicks ass. Soulful Hobo asks, what do you think about older punk music and the anarchy associated with it? I certainly like older punk a lot more than current punk, with not really too much against current punk. I've always been, you know, pretty intrigued, I guess, by older punk. The message, um, I can't exactly relate to the messages in older punk, especially the anarchy that you say, um... I don't know. One thing that I guess kind of confuses me is, you know, when certain punk bands get more recognition, do they become out of touch with their agenda is really the question that I have. This is just my ignorance here, not really being as big of a punk fan. So, I mean, I love punk, but I'm not really as big on it. All right. Queenie Martha asks, do you like ponies? Um, not really, sorry. <laughs> and 
And the final large group of questions all come from Lachlan1011. What is your opinion on Alex Jones? I think he's a lunatic. Which ranters tend to do you tend to look up to and take inspiration from? I think I've mentioned this on some occasions. Muse Productions, Mr. Repsion, Cover Killer Nation, Infidel Amsterdam, and well, those are like my main four. There are other ranters that I would definitely say I do have some influence from. John Riello would be one of them. Maybe Must Destroy All, but I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But those are like the main people I take inspiration from. What do you think of the ranting community? I think it's quite awesome, and I feel very fortunate to be able to associate myself with so many cool people in this little community on YouTube. It really means quite a lot to me, considering, you know, I've been such an avid viewer of a lot of these people. Now I can talk to them on a lot more personal of a level on Facebook, Skype. Certainly means a lot to me, so... Ranted community, thank you guys. Do you have a favorite Simpsons episode? Yes, I do. Treehouse of Horror 5 from Season 6. If you don't remember which one that is, it's the one with the Shining parody when, with, you know, no TV and no beer make Homer go crazy. Uh, the one when Homer goes back in time with the toaster. And the one when the school cafeteria cooks kids for lunch. It's that Halloween special. That is my favorite one. Do you dislike something which everyone else loves? The what's wrong with videos, I guess, are like the opposite of that. But yeah, there are things I dislike that lots of people seem to like. Uh, Lady Gaga would be a good example. I mean, she's not exactly as relevant as she was back in like my sophomore, junior year of high school. But so many people just, you know, turned their head when word got out for me that I did not like Lady Gaga. And they're like, Mike, how could you? You know, something like that. What religious views are you? It doesn't really make sense. And how did you come to that belief? Uh, I do want to make a video about this, so I'm not going to answer this question right away, but be prepared for that. Other than Eminem, what rap artists do you like, if you do? Obviously, I do. There's a whole video on my channel defending rap objectively from these people, you know, who bash it for it not being real music. But yes, although even though I do come off as kind of a more hard rock and metal guy. I am pretty big on hip-hop, particularly from the late 80s to the mid-90s. Specific rappers that I really do like from the old school, at least. Um, KRS-One, he's definitely my favorite. Uh, Rakim's another guy. Ice-T. Everybody from, well, maybe not everybody, NWA and the solo careers that they have launched. Same with Wu-Tang and they, the solo careers that they launched off. Um, what other guys? Nas, that's another guy. Uh, Snoop Dogg on his first two albums. I think those are really great albums. Uh, that's all that really come, that's coming to mind right now as far as old school hip-hop goes. Um, underground, I'm definitely pretty legit on, as far as my knowledge goes. When you when you got guys like Tech 9 Diabolic, Hopson. Yes, I am pretty big on hip-hop. I don't talk about it a lot, but I do know a good bit about it. With Eminem, I will also say I really only care for the first four albums. Uh, the ones up to Eminem show. Everything after that, I think, were pretty watered down. He really became kind of soft, and I haven't really liked a lot of what he's done since. I mean, fucking love the way you lie. That's got to be one of the lamest hip-hop songs of all time. And thus concludes Q&A numero dos. 
So thank you to everybody who asked questions, and thank you to everybody again for showing your support for this channel. It's getting a bit late. I am probably going to go to bed soon, even though I don't have work tomorrow, so... Thank you for watching this video. I'm Shades, and I'll see you next time. All right, now I'm going to use Camtasia for the first time. Cool. So I'm going to delete that portal to ask questions with live. Okay. Check actions and delete. Yes. Thank you again to everybody who commented on that video with a question.